I'm ready to do the master flip. In five, four, three, two, one, go Ruby! <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to our plastic free journey. And in today's video, we're going to be um, trying to be plastic free for a day. Today's the day before we're becoming plastic free for a day. Um, we try to do that on a daily basis because we don't want our eco footprint to be like bad, do we? No, no. So most days we always try our best to make the plastic free choices. But, um, and we're doing really well so far. Uh, we've reduced it massively. Uh, but we wanted to challenge ourselves and do um, a full day where we don't get any plastic, use any plastic at all. Uh, which is a, is challenging unless in like days. it's um a plastic bag that we're gonna like reuse like like if we get like a, a plastic oh, yeah, bag we always use, take we always take our plastic, plastic bag bags shopping. um that's fine but like if it's something you're buying that is any plastic we're not going to be doing normally we'd only buy plastics that, that might be recyclable even though we don't get many plastics are recyclable anyway but we try to stay away from it but today we're going completely away from it so let's just go get shopping with our stuff let's go shopping yeah <laughs> so we just got back from shopping and we managed to go 100 percent plastic free yay so, all right this is our bag our reusable cute bag <laughs> with the poo one <laughs> all right so the first thing is our vegetarian crisp and on cheese and onion <laughs> um crisp bakes so these are from the freezer aisle so a good thing to do is if you are going to the freezer aisle a lot of it isn't in plastic so it's just all um just comes straight out from the box the same with like if you got your vegetarian sausages they come straight with no plastic just come straight from there so that's a really great alternative to say if you go in the fresh aisle and it's all covered in plastic if you just go to the freezer a lot of times they just put it in the cardboard which is really good which is great okay so we get cordial um because it's all normally always in glass and we only get the glass ones uh, it's a bit more expensive than the plastic ones but we think it's worth it don't we yeah and you can get um other things that are just the same price it's not like super expensive it's not a lot more expensive, expensive. just like probably like 30 more p expensive but, you know so, glass glass is fantastic because it always gets recycled cycled. glass forever and ever and ever even though plastic can only be recycled to a maximum of nine times right, so another thing is self-raising flour so normally ruby would have cereal for breakfast but but all cereals are plastic well, inside they're, they're nice and they've got the nice cardboard on the outside but on the inside they're all covered in plastic so that is an absolute no-no for yeah. a completely plastic free day uh, so she's going to have pancakes instead yeah because at first my mum was like you're going to have to have what she has which is the corn the sausages. sausages and i don't i don't i don't, I don't like something savory so i decided flour comes in paper <laughs> uh, so to go with the pancakes we found this didn't we ruby yeah we did we found these really yummy things yeah oh yeah there it is if you can see it this looks we've never tried this one before but because it's in it's in glass and, and then it's got the metal and they don't so, use any palm oil do they in this one no there is a tiny bit of plastic on that oh but you know we can, there's nothing we can do like we tried tiny, our best tiny so bits. just the tiny bits that we did but um, this is, na so no refined sugars, this is cocoa and hazelnut butter with coconut and honey. But um, It's got no palm oil in it. No palm it? oil in, because palm oil is very bad, you can do your own research. We'll leave a link to um, the video that explains palm oil. How bad palm oil is. Right. Oh, and then we thought, because Ruby we likes to have sandwiches, oh, or gosh. maybe something like spaghetti or beans on on toast but obviously we can't get bread because that's got plastic on it so we thought we would try and make our own bread, bread. So just add water and it's really nice and it's well we'll see we've never tried it before but we'll give it a go okay. so we also got um some tins because i thought it'd be good to get because tins are good because you can always recycle tins absolutely yeah tins um. are great <laughs> <laughs> so we yeah. don't need to worry that we've got macaroni and cheese um beans and um, we thought we'd try cream, cream of tomato, tomato soup. soup. We don't often have soup, soup. But, but we thought, you know, because nice. there's, there's lots of different options on the tin aisle, so give it a go. Okay. We also found um, something else to go with, like, the bread that we we're going to make or the pancakes. We found some 
again, no palm oil. Um, some natural smooth peanut butter. Which looks really tasty. I can't wait to have that. I know, we love peanut butter, <laughs> if you can't tell. <laughs> right, okay. And then I usually actually use uh, the Fry Light spray that is in plastic, but I decided that instead, yeah, it's it's good, but it's just a shame that it has to be in a plastic container. Obviously, I wash it out and recycle it, but we want to try to eliminate that. So I thought we'll get this instead. So this is coconut oil and that's in glass. It's also so, really good for you. So another thing is, um, we actually, okay. we get our milk and our veg delivered. And eggs. And eggs delivered. delivered to the house. So we've got our... Um, Carrots. Carrots. <laughs> We've got carrots. carrots as well. And potatoes. And lots of fruit, fruit. and different things, all, all plastic free. So so that helps because there's lots of, there'll be like delivery places. Milk. That's an empty bottle of milk. So we do like that. You can also get like Your eggs, eggs delivered. delivered. So there's lots of places locally um, that will do that for you. So we also, when we need the little odd other bit that we don't get from our veg box, we get the mushrooms in here, which are in the it's paper. Yeah. Um, so you can get them loose. It's, there are fruits and veg and different things that you can get loose these days. And then also I just put the tomatoes in the... It says mushrooms, but we've got some mushrooms. <laughs> okay. And then we absolutely love avocado. You say with avocado, it's got its own uh, packaging, which is yeah. great. <laughs> and that's so here's all our lovely plastic-free food. Hi, Hi guys. guys. So we've just woken up, and today is the start of our plastic-free day. <laughs> and in the morning, I always like to have a cup of tea to get me going. And Ruby likes to have her orange juice, and that's easy to go plastic-free because the milkman delivers it for her. <laughs> So that's good, so that's a tick. Um, we know that some of you might like not be able to get this, but there are a lot of milkmen that do deliver all sorts of things, so it should be quite easy for you to get your milk. Absolutely, yeah. Okay, so now we're going to do rubies and cakes. Yeah, so yeah. I was always taught to do 100 grams of flour, so that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> um, so now I'm gonna put one large egg in, because it's normally people do like 200, grams and like two eggs but it's only for me so I'm just gonna do that amount. One egg. Okay, there we so go. I need to put a hundred wait no, about 150 milliliters so Right, so now we're ready to start cooking the pancake. So instead of using the normal fry light that we would use in the plastic, we're using the oh the the virgin coconut oil. Uh, which is really good for you. We're not going to use a large amount, uh, just a little bit in the pan. So hopefully that will make the pancake extra tasty. Coconut <laughs> is brilliant. It's a lot of... It's going to look really bad. <laughs> well, I, I've attempted it, it's just because there's so much coconut oil in it. It's going to look a bit like this when it comes out. But once I roll it, it'll look fine, so it, that is just gonna look a bit skewed with, but it'll taste nice. I'm ready to do the master flip. In five, four, three, two, one, go Ruby. Oh! Uh, maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, you ready to take it off? Yeah, three, two, one. Yay! <laughs> Whoa, that looks like it might not be perfect, uh, but it looks <laughs> good. It looks good. Well it done, looks good because it's just for me, so it's fine. You know, and we're not we're not perfectionists, but I think that will taste good. Yeah. So now I'm putting on. I did try a bit last night. I'm really sorry, guys, as you can tell, but it was really yummy, so uh, I had to try a bit. So I'm rubbing this onto my pancake. This looks good. Now I'm putting one of my tasty bananas from our veg box onto my yummy pancake. I'm just going to quickly roll my pancake. And here is my humongous pancake. Woo! Yay, let's well done, Ruby. This bear ball. Very tasty. Yum, yum <laughs> in my tub too. <laughs> Hi, guys. I'm now eating my yummy pancake. Ready for the result. Does it taste like Ruby? Mmm! I just got the chocolate and it's really nice. Very good. Well done! Successful! 
So it's now lunchtime and we're about to make our crusty white, white bread mix. mix. I'm really excited to do this actually. We've never made it before. Um, but it sounds really simple. It says just add water. So, so I'm how thinking, can we go wrong? How could we go wrong really? Um, and if it does go well, then... This we'll... will be like a lifetime switch. Yeah, because there'll be no need to buy bread fine. wrapped in plastic. So um, fingers crossed it goes well. So let's get going. Ruby's going to pour the bread mix into the bowl. Ooh. That feels like a lot. There's quite a lot there. I Ho told you that. <laughs> Hopefully the bowl's big enough. Right, it does say I'll add all of it and then just add the water. I know. I okay. was like, that's a lot. <laughs> so you've done that very well, Ruby. I'm really impressed with that. Oh, <laughs> well, she's so good in the you. kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> told you you couldn't go wrong. <laughs> okay, so we've let some water cool uh, from in the kettle and basically she needs to pour in 325 mils of water i've gone 30 over okay okay so ruby's pouring it in <laughs> i think that is the perfect size bowl <laughs> it's perfect Just about got it. and what you need to do now is start kneading it with your hand I'm now all right okay so now you need to just mix it oh great oh just be careful you need okay. to mix it with your hands. Okay. Yeah, I think a bigger bowl may have been advisable. Yeah. I mean, we don't do a lot of baking and things, so we don't have, like, really big bowls. <laughs> you said, how could we fail? <laughs> <laughs> this is a process. I'm sure this is... Any baker watching, I'm sure they go, that's exactly how you do it. <laughs> that's exactly how you do it. Oh great! It's it's tending to like slime. I know. Just yeah, I think you just have to keep going and going until oh, it gets remember, to a dough. Oh, I we've done this at school. It does go like this. We did it on like a like straight on the table. I think it says on the instructions that you mix it in the bowl and then you transfer it to the yeah, table. Okay. So try to. I mean, this is very messy. This is. <laughs> but I'm still confident. Oh. I'm still confident. Yeah, we have to be confident. Ruby, I believe that you can do this. I you can. can salvage this bread. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying really hard. Wow. <laughs> this is teaching. <laughs> Keep going, Ruby. You're doing really well. I'm trying to get like. I'm. I'm really glad that you said you wanted to do it. <laughs> Let's have it's a look. Fine. Oh, it's actually. It's I think you just have to keep going. I do. I've done it at school before once. Right. Okay. We had professional bakers come in. That was the difference. I yeah. I mean, it, it, it's kind of it's mixing so the water with the ingredients. I feel like I've got mittens on my hand. Mittens. It's like something out of a horror movie. <laughs> I know. What is that really? <laughs> have you seen Ruby's? I know. It's scary, isn't it? Dinner. Dinner. <laughs> it's okay, Renesme. It will wash off. Don't worry. No. <laughs> okay, so now this it's time to relocate and try to knead it. Oh, it's actually, you know, it's looking a bit better. I think we need to add some the flour. content. So, add this. let me just put this. I'll get it out. Okay, you get it out. Try and mix it that way. Sorry. Everywhere. <laughs> I'll clean up. We'll both clean up. Cause... Clean up. You'll clean up. Really, really. Yeah, I will, honestly. Really, really. I promise. Well, okay, this is... I'll have to film that. <laughs> <laughs> Come together now. Oh, oh yeah. It's, it's looking pretty good, actually. Yeah, that's it, Ruby. R Ruby bread fingers. <laughs> <laughs> looking good, Ruby. <laughs> if you've watched um, Stranger Things and when they go looking good, Billy, looking good, Billy. when he like he's not looking good, <laughs> we, we, every time somebody's like not looking like we're not looking at our best, we'll be like looking good, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> no, to be fair though, it is actually looking pretty good. I'm not super impressed so far. Okay, so on the instructions it says let the bread rest for five minutes because it'll be pretty tired after um, it's been mixed around. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just going to let it rest for five minutes and then we need to knead so it. now it's rested for five minutes and now I need to knead it for two minutes and then it might it have another little rest for five minutes. So go on, Ruby. I'm going to knead that bag off. Knead it. Knead it. I knead it. 
I need a tool. Because <laughs> I'm getting hungry for lunch, but it's taking a while. Okay, so now it's ready to go in the baking tin. Oh, that feels so cool. And what you have to do is kind of put it in place. I don't think you have to worry too much because apparently it doubles, uh, it in, doubles size, in size. Which isn't great. <laughs> it says to dust it with a little bit of flour on the top. Okay. So we've got our flour. Do you want to? Yeah. Do you want to just dust a little bit on the top? Okay, so now we just need to cover it up and leave it for about 20 to 30 minutes. So now we're ready to see. <gasps> wow. wow! Oh, well, it's definitely risen. Okay. Oh, that looks lovely. <laughs> so now we just need to get that in the so oven. So now we're ready to put it in the oven. Yay! See when you're all cooked and ready and yummy. Oh my gosh! So we've just pulled it out of the oven, and that's it what looks, it looks delicious. Like. Wow! Can't, oh, don't <laughs> touch it; it's hot. So can't wait to try that. So we're gonna have to let it cool, Rubes. <laughs> just let it cool a little bit, and then then we'll tuck in. Yay! So now I'm going to try my slice of bread with some peanut butter. I've tried See what mine it tastes already. like. <laughs> I've tried mine. It's good. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> that is good. It's really good. Really good. It's like really, it's like crusty on the outside, but soft on the inside. And it's just like perfection. This is definitely, like if mm. I just show you this, like the full bread. This is definitely a long time switch mm. because it would taste better than any bread you can buy at the Absolutely. shop. Absolutely. Because it's like all fresh and tasty and yeah. really nice. I, I definitely recommend making your own bread. Mm -hmm. it, Don't buy it. Don't buy it wrapped in plastic. It's cheaper and it tastes a lot better. Make it yourself. <laughs> right, so now I'm going to peel the potatoes and carrots from our veg box for our tea. So it's the next day. Yeah. I think we did really well. Yeah, I'm really impressed. I think we yeah. did really well. We got like 99.9% .9 of non plastic. It was just these naughty little things that had plastic around the top, which we didn't even realise. No, we when didn't. We, got... we were in the shop and we were like, we've gone 100%. That's 100%. why at the beginning of the video we were like, we've gone 100% plastic through because we had no clue. We didn't. So. But not to worry because I think it was a really successful challenge uh, because we made our own bread and we really enjoyed that. And it tasted it great it, yeah. and that's plastic free. You made your own pancakes, which I think you did really well. I think I might like, I think we should do it again, like the bread yeah. and the pancakes. Yeah, so those are, those are kind of swaps that we're definitely going to stick to for sure. Because there's no point of me getting my, sorry, no point of me getting my plastic cereals because... I prefer to have pancakes anyway, and I can put healthy bananas and p things on it and, like, try and put the fat down on it. But it's eat lots more fruit as well. Yeah, and they eat lots more fruit. Yeah, and they eat lots more yeah. fruit. Yeah. So, all in all, it was a success. Um, but um, we did realise a few, like, difficulties, I think, that you need to learn it when you're doing like this, that... When you when you look at it in a different way, where you realise like you when you're doing the challenge, you realise like how many things really do have plastic on. Yeah. Because we're looking around the supermarket thinking like, what do we get? Everything's got plastic on. And yeah, you just look really, at it. Really and we'd say like suggest to do this yourself. Like if you're like, gonna if you're a passionate, do this challenge because it really does make you think. You know. It does. Yeah. It makes you go, oh my gosh, I mean, what am I meant to get? And then you think, you know, all this plastic will mm. end up in landfill. I know. It's very. The sea. It's very sad very sad but and that's why we're trying to make other people aware of this situation absolutely and, and I, I think if we can do it then anyone can, can. and i think i think basically you probably just have to make more things from scratch don't you rather mm -hmm. than getting the pre-prepared meals that are all covered and in plastic the bread just and the, yeah and like just a little bit more effort but it's going to make a big difference so i think it's worth it for sure Yay. Yay! So please like and subscribe and comment for more videos. Yeah, love, love to hear your comments. Yeah, and like what you suggest us to do for the next video. And we'll see you in the next video. Absolutely. Bye, guys! Bye! Thanks for watching. Bye!